<laughs> I don't know what to say. What are we here uh, to talk about today? We are here to finally talk about some very exciting news, our plans for the next few months. Pretty exciting. Cheers. Cheers. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. Nah, trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick that switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, where the wheels don't stop turning. I know we're acting stupid. Everyone starts finding out, so we are putting together a video to tell you guys. Oh, we are? You'll find out later. This is for the vlog. Yeah, later. Yeah. To be released at a later date. Yes, next week. Oh, nice. Welcome to the club. What club? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm <sighs> leaving the club. posted that I was here to check out my handiwork, which was last weekend me painting. So I took my childhood bedroom from turquoise to white and it is so much better. Like I honestly don't even know why I ever thought that turquoise was a good idea, but part, well mostly the reason that we painted it is that we will be living here for about three weeks give or take in August. So this is gonna be the first leg of our adventure. We are leaving our apartment in Marina Del Rey. Our lease is up July 31st and we're just not re-signing it. Um, and after living there three years, it's gonna be so weird not calling that place home. But we will be in Rancho Cucamonga, which is where I grew up, born and raised, for about three weeks in my mom's house. And then we'll be on our way for a really exciting road trip to get to Minnesota. So, just thought I would give you guys a little background because I keep teasing on my stories like I'm at my mom's house helping paint and you know just hanging out here but really it's because I'm getting it ready because we're going to be living here for a hot second so it's really fun to like 
see it come together. It's so refreshing having just like a fresh white wall. She's getting wood floors installed on Monday. So that will be a huge upgrade. I've had carpet my whole life. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, just crazy, crazy chapter. Very excited. We've basically been talking about this plan since I don't know, even before COVID hit because of all the plans that we have in September and October in Minnesota. So I will wait to fill you guys in on the full story, but that's just kind of the fun BTS of why I'm in Rancho and why I've been in Rancho like kind of often lately. So a little insight as to why I keep driving an hour and a half just to hang out with my mom every weekend. <laughs> Carb load. Carb load. Today's high carb day. But fun fact, where we're going is what Brennan was eating the night that I met him. And he offered me, he like offered to share his dinner with me the night that we met. And I was like, no, that's okay. I don't know you. I'm not going to take your pasta, but thank you. So, just a little fun little story. And that's where I gave him his wedding ring. Full circle moments, you know? Of these coordinates. Oh, yeah. The coordinates of where we met are on his wedding ring. North, 118 West. Look it up. Look it up. I'll also show you. COVID and lots of change. Lots of change. Um, and so, I don't know, I feel like we should tell the whole story. Yeah, where do you want to start? We started 2020 knowing a few things were going to happen. A, we knew Brennan was going to leave his job in September. Um, is that the right way to say that? <laughs> yeah, might as well just throw it out there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was going to be the best man in his best friend's wedding September 7th. 7th. No. Six, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend, whatever. He knew he was gonna leave in September yeah. because he's in an industry where he can't take Labor Day off. So we were gonna have to do that. So we entered this year knowing it was his last hoorah at his current job in that, that that was gonna bring a lot of change. And we were just kind of like mentally preparing for that way early on. And then COVID started and everything shut down. And then that just kind of like heightened our desire for something different because we were in our apartment 24 7 like everyone else and you just have time to like sit with your thoughts and plan for your future and at the same time like there is you can't do anything like you we couldn't go anywhere we couldn't we couldn't travel like we had planned like so no, many others planned we were just making lists from a b c d e of what to do and when to do it yeah that's all you had to do for two months yeah so we just like obsessed over like what should we do next like where do we want to be when everything in LA shut down the appeal of being here just kind of went away in a way because we couldn't go to our favorite bars or restaurants we couldn't see our friends we couldn't even use our apartment amenities or go to the beach so all the things that we did every day went away and again we were not alone in that everyone was everyone was going through that but it just made us realize like why are we in LA right now where do we want to be in five years so we started to play around with the idea of leaving LA and long story short <laughs> I don't know I feel like we we planned that we planned that because we had a few weddings his sister's having a baby and his dad is retiring in September and October in Minnesota so that kind of like made us want to be there for a few months which got us thinking about what we could do with that option of being in Minnesota for a few months. True. I feel like I'm doing all the talking. <laughs> we used that two months of downtime to really think about, is this what we wanted to do? It's been always in the back of my mind. I told myself I wanted five years at this uh, athletic director position five years ago, and this was the fifth summer, and I was gonna look at 
come Labor Day weekend of the possibility of leaving. And then when Corey asked me to be his best man, I was like, okay, that's probably it then. Because there was no way I was going to get Labor Day weekend off. Just with the position that I had, I had too busy of a weekend to just ask for it off to leave for a wedding. And so that kind of sparked everything. And then, like Ashley said, with retirement of Kurtile coming up at the end of October and myself working for him uh, growing up, I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to be with him the last two months of his working career. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that kind of sparked it. My sister's third baby, and we're, like, we're going to do a lot of traveling back and forth from California to Minnesota, September, October. Yeah, we were like, that makes no sense. Why would we come back and forth four times in two months? So then I think the idea of, is it a possibility for us to move back there? And I, it's easy for me. It's a little harder for you because you're not well, wait, from Minnesota. I'm not going to say move. Yeah, we're not moving. We're not moving. <laughs> It, we, we phrase it as We're an extended vacation. an extended vacation in Minnesota. We did. We took our honeymoon and three and a half weeks in Australia, and we were like, we like these extended vacations. Yeah. And so we, it gives us an opportunity to take an extended vacation to Minnesota. And everyone says, are you moving or moving? I'm like, we're not moving. I can't get her to live in Minnesota. I'm born and raised in California. Rancho Cucamonga. Shout out to Shout the out. IE. I don't know. Not that like I love anything about that part of California, but I just can't imagine living in the snow. Yeah, so we're not going to do that, and we're going to come back to LA, whether it be November, December, January, one of those months we're going to do, and I guess it kind of all got off to a go, hit the go button when there was an opportunity for a new job arose. Yes. Arose. Yeah, I feel like all me. the all the puzzle pieces started to fall into place, so we were like, this is weirdly working out. Yeah, because it's scary. We're just like, well, let's go to Minnesota and do that, and then for two months, and then we're going to do. It's like, well, we'll find something. And you can always, it's easier said than done, and then you get to the point where like, okay, well, what are you going to do? And you're like, well, we'll find something. Yeah. I, yeah. So we, this opportunity, this I'm not going to say anything, but there's a possible opportunity that I'm going to go with, and it's becoming more and more likely, which is awesome, and hopefully, mm -hmm. fingers crossed, it works out, and if not, we'll go from there, but... We'll pivot. It's about a 95% chance, <laughs> so we're going to go with that. And so that having that opportunity made it an easier... Uh, Decision. Decision to yeah. say, let's go and do this. Let's leave our place that we've been in for three years. And we kind of wanted to do that last year. And we are like, all right, let's just stay one more year. Yeah, every single year, like you said, they've been here for three years. And every year that our lease goes up and it's time to resign, we're like, okay, where can we go? And I feel like I'm constantly looking for apartments in LA. Like even in the middle of our lease, I'm always like, oh, here's this place. Like we're always talking about where we want to be all the time. And so not we love where we live, but we just kind of knew it was time. And after the third year, we were like, all right, this is no better time than this year, especially with the circumstances. Like we're not going to have too much FOMO, I don't think, since things are kind of Can't miss out on anything. shutting down again. <laughs> so Friends are moving away. Yeah, it's just like so many things are changing. It felt like the right time. Finally. For me, it's easy because I got a lot of buddies that bought houses in Minnesota too. And so to, to be back and watch them kind yeah, of grow into babies. their own family and to be there for a couple months, I mean, yeah. you don't get this opportunity, you know, very Not often. Not often. Yeah. So. To be able to do this at this point in your life to say, okay, we're, we're going to start mm -hmm. a family, but just not now. If we want to travel, we can travel now. Can you leave your job? Yes, you can leave your job. You work for yourself, which is great. This will help you create content and go, go around different places. Mm -hmm. And we're just crossing our fingers that hopefully this crisis of COVID um, kind of dies down and we find something to make it kind of ease the mind of travel, I should say. Yeah. Because we're ready. We want to be on the forefront of that and travel. That's our passion. We love travel and family. So mm -hmm. to be able to combine those two of travel to family and then come back and then start up a new experience or a new adventure, I should say, a new chapter to be able to travel and take everything I've learned from being at the athletic director position. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we just wanted to share with you guys because the next couple of months, so our game plan is our lease ends July 31st. We go move to Rancho for three weeks. So we'll be selling a lot of Shout our stuff. Cheryl. Yeah, my mom is doing everything she can to make the house livable for us because we're moving back into my childhood bedroom for three weeks. So anyway, that's why I've been like painting and doing all these things and trying to get it ready for us. Um, so we'll be there for three weeks. Brennan will be closing out his position at his current job. And then we are going to hit the road and we are gonna drive from California to Minnesota, but we are gonna take our sweet time the whole way. And we actually just mapped out a game plan for- We're doing a lot of national parks. 
Yeah, so we have all these places we want to hit on the way to Minnesota just trying to make the best of our road trip. Call Leslie Nope. Make sure the parks are open. <laughs> parks and Rec. Shout out Leslie Nope. Um, and then we are planning to get to Minnesota by his birthday. Woo September 2nd or the day before. So it'll be exciting. Your first birthday. First not birthday, at work. Not at work in the last 10 years. That's, that's, that's cause exciting. for celebration. First time back in Minnesota for my birthday in the last, I don't even know, I want to say like 10 plus years. We'll go with that. Oh, wow. That's crazy. You have been out here for a while, nine years now. Wow. So that's where we'll be and we're going to take you along with us. We're going to be doing a ton of YouTube content. It'll be really interesting to put ourselves in what could be called like an uncomfortable situation in a way because we're not going to have our own space. We're going to have, you know, we're going to be... We're going to be close to you the whole time. That's not I get to be true. close to you the whole time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be taking risks, which I big feel risk like is gonna be amazing at the end. That's when things change, you know. When you put yourself in an uncomfortable feeling situation, but you know it's right. That's when big things happen. Big big things. So we are excited, and we can't wait to take you along for the ride. It'll be fun. Can't pass up this opportunity. Now's yeah. the time. Yeah, trading in city views for nature. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. <laughs> it's nature. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. everything. Okay. <laughs>